one more time. I feel my dream now. This dream, visualize your dream yoga meditation is all about our dream and we're going to find it today. Sit comfortably. Take the pillow right now, place it underneath the sit bones. Placing it underneath the sit bones lifts up our spine a little bit. It helps realign our body. And I need to adjust this because you're not crooked. Sorry about that camera. There we go. When we tap into the third eye, we tap into our intuition. We tap into our dreams, our wants, our desires. The sound of the third eye chakra is ah oh mm. Place the hands to the heart, breathe in deep, close the eyes and feel the wind around us, the ground beneath us. Feel the vibration of the heart and the ah oh mm sound in the body. Breathe in deep with the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth, out. Um. Now go inside a little bit deeper. Feel the breath flowing, reaching through the top of the head, lengthening through the top of the head, and then out. Um. Notice what the vibration of the sound does to the body. One more time. Um. Picture your dream. Make it something simple. A new car, a new home, a dream job, a dream career, a dream business. Even as simple as a comfortable mattress to lie on and get a great night's sleep. Pillows and blankets. Grab the pillows and blankets. There we go. That's it. In this dream sequence, we visualize and we feel the dream now. When we feel the dream now, we have a deeper desire. When we feel the dream now, that magnetic attraction brings it closer to us and in fruition faster and faster. In a pranayama breath, called Nadi Sondanan, it opens up the brain. It taps into the intuition in our bodies. The intuition in this case is the pineal gland. So we have our tissues here. Grab our tissues and blow the nose really good. One side, the other side. We might get some solid matter going, going. Grab the pillows too. Nick, open up a chair. Yeah. Right there, the chair. Yeah. Nadi Sondonan, raise the left hand. Bring the one, two, three fingers. So the pinky finger is out and the thumb is out. Place the thumb against the nostril. In your case, the left nostril. Breathe in deep and out. Now the other side, the pinky finger on the right side. Breathe in deep and out. Left side, in, out. 
bring a smile to the face, close the eyes, no one can see you. Left. Right. Breathe out really strong. Breathe in really strong. Right. Excuse me, left. Then the right. Four more. One more on the left, one more on the right. Anytime we need to wake up our body in the morning, grab the tissue, blow the nose. We might have a little solid matter right now. <laughs> Keep it close by. Opening up that breath helps the creativity. If we're in the middle of a job that we need to be creative with or we need to think of a, a solution, a fast solution that we're kind of tied up about or angry about, we do Nadi Sandana to open up the brain's air. Netra Viayamam. If we have our legs crossed one way, go ahead and cross them the other way just to move them around a little bit. Netra Viayamam is eye movement only. So if we have glasses on, go ahead and take them off. We have glasses on. There goes my chair. That's all right. We'll keep you right there. Blink the eyes. Keeping the chin level, moving the eyes only. Breathe in, look up at 12 o'clock. Breathe out, look down at six. Bring a smile, breathe in, look up at 12. Breathe out, look down at six. One more time, 12. Breathe out, six o'clock. Blink the eyes. Breathe in, look at nine o'clock. Breathe out, look at three o'clock. In out in out blink the eyes breathe in look at 12 o'clock around counterclockwise nine six three twelve breathe in at 12 move the eyes only nine six three twelve Breathe in at 12, 9, 6, 3, 12. Blink the eyes, breathe in at 12 o'clock, opposite direction, 3, 6, 9, 12. In at 12, out, 3, 6, 9, 12. In at 12, 3, 6, 9, 12. Anytime we want to improve our eyesight, anytime we want to get that haze out of our brain, do Netra Viayamam. Now let's warm up the hands really nice. Place the fingertips on the forehead and rotate a circular motion on the forehead in using our fingertips. Put some pressure on our brain, on our skull. And it kind of feels good, doesn't it? Rotate the circular motion outward, giving our forehead a nice massage, that third eye chakra area, that energy wheel of intuition. Now take all four fingers and knead the side of our temple. Ooh, this feels good. Guess what? This is great for when you have headaches too. Yeah. Now, believe it or not, the jawbone is probably one of the most stressed areas in the body. So we're going to work our way down to the jawbone, open up our mouth and squeeze in, pressure point in, hold it, three, two, one, release, bring the hands down, roll off over onto the side, put the feet forward. Slowly come up on the toes of the feet. <coughs> so we're, we're squatting. Place an extra pillow 
behind the body, just underneath the buttocks. In yin yoga, we are in poses for a longer period of time. When we're in the pose for a longer period of time, it seems like forever. But what this does, you're probably not going to like me very much, but you're going to love me towards the end. Okay? So we're going to three minutes of holding this pose. Hold the hands to heart, rest the elbows on the knees. Now we can roll over onto the pillow if we want to. The deeper opening is when that we are off the pillow. The pillow is just behind us if we need us. In this session, we are going to the edge. I'm going to ask you to go to the edge. And what that means is you're going to go, oh, Athena, no, 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 no. Okay. So when you get to that point, no, 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 then slowly just sit on the pillow to rest it. Because sometimes our bodies tell us, okay, back off. Listen to the body. This opens up the arches in the feet. It opens up the deep opening in knees. So if we have knee challenges, this prevents us from tripping over ourselves. This strengthens our um, ankles. This strengthens our knees. It strengthens our thighs. Now remember, we have two minutes to go. We can still roll over onto that pillow and rest our bodies. Just honor your body where it's at. That's what we mean by honoring the body. Now we have challenging knees like mommy. Mommy is doing an alternative knee. You're welcome to do that and place one knee forward. Straighten out the leg. Remember, this is your yoga, not my yoga, not her yoga, not his yoga. Do not be embarrassed if we need to come and rest our bodies. This is an alternative. But it's wonderful opening for the hips. The hips right here are probably one of the deepest stress areas of the body. So let's dream a little bit. Let's do something simple. A new car. Close the eyes. However, if we're, eye, if we're a little wobbly with our feet, we might want to look down at the ground. Focus on the, your dream car. Focus on the smell of it. Open up the door. Sit in it. Are the seats leather? Are the seats cloth? What color is it? In this yoga meditation six series, we're focusing on our dream and what we want. Now smell it. The new car smell. 30 seconds to go. Look out over the front window. Look out over the side window. Look in the back to see how roomy it is or not roomy. Now breathe in and stay silent in its mind's eye and just enjoy it for the next nine seconds. Take a deep breath in. And slowly, if you're not already on the pillow, rest the buttocks on the pillow. Whoo! Stretch it out. Nice. Rub the legs up and down. Give the knees some loving. Give the thighs some loving. Thank you, honey, for doing that for me. I needed that. <laughs> the bodies need us to open up the body through stress. Either on the pillow or off the pillow. A forward bend really opens up the body. In this case, if you want to be on one pillow, go ahead and place the other, other pillow in front. The other pillow is in front for us to prop our body up because sometimes our bodies don't go all the way down like the yoga teachers do, and that's okay. We just prop our bodies up or we can use the chair if we want. When our bodies are on our pillows, place the forehead on the ink on the wrist. We're tuning into our forehead, our third eye chakra. There we go. Close the eyes and internalize. In this position, feel the stretch, feel the opening from the base of the spine, the lower lumbar, to the top of the spine. 
Now follow the breath from the base of the spine to the top of the spine. We're in a position of a forward bend. We're crossing our arms in front of us. We're placing our forehead on the on our wrist. There we go. Nice. We can use extra pillows to prop our body up. Use the extra pillows to prop. There we go. If our forehead does not reach all the way to our wrist, don't worry about it. Just bend forward and open up that wonderful opening in the back of the neck. Rest your forearms, that's it, and just relax. Close the eyes. Feel that new car sensation. Drive around in it through the neighborhood. Drive to your favorite restaurant. And for one more minute of silence, see your family in it, see your lover in it. Hear the sound inside of it and outside. Roll the window down. Slowly breathe in. When we breathe in, place the hands to the side of us and walk the body up nice and slow. Anytime we're in a yin yoga pose, we will show you alternatives. If you need to come out of the pose, honor the body. Because sometimes when we're in, sitting like this, it's just, ooh, your back is screaming at you. It was with this body when we first started off with. Roll over onto the right side and onto the belly. Spread and open the legs out behind us. Feet are flat on the surface of the sand. Sometimes when the feet are out too wide, there's a tingy crankiness. Go ahead and bring them in if you need to. We can come down this way, cross our arms in front, place our hand on the forehead. Now look at me. This sphinx pose is a deep opening in the lower back. If the back, if the back gets really cranky and we don't like it, come down to this crocodile pose. Sphinx, spread the hands on the surface of the earth, open up the elbows. Squeeze the thighs in. Now we really feel it in the back. So that crocodile pose, go ahead and come down to that when your body tells you to. Chin level with the earth. Close the eyes. Remember to squeeze in the thighs, open it up. Right now your pelvis is, our pelvis is flat with the earth. We're grounding with the earth. We're breathing through the third eye chakra in between our brows. It's kind of weird when somebody says that. <laughs> so we're just going to go with it because obviously it taps into our intuition, our spirituality. Go to your dream home. Visualize it in your mind's eye. Visualize each room, what it would look like. Visualize your dream bathroom. 
What color is the house? Do you have a lawn? How many trees? See your new car in the driveway. Breathe it in now. Take a deep breath. Lift the chest. Exhale down. Feel the pelvis hug the earth a little bit more. Relax the thighs now. At this halfway point, we are reminded if the back does not feel right to come on down to crocodile and cross the arms in front and lay the forehead on top of the wrists. In this body, right now, this cranky back is feeling cranky. Well, that's okay. We know that we're going to do a counter pose to open it up. And this is a good way to strengthen the abdominals, to strengthen the lower back. By strengthening the abdominals, we get rid of that nice belly fat. We tone it up really nice. By strengthening the lower back, we have less back issues. And for the remaining 30 seconds, breathe in strong and deep and walk around the home, our dream home. Bring a smile to the face. When we come out of a yin yoga pose, and this one close the and bring the legs together. Slowly roll over onto one side and get up on all fours. Open up the knees nice and wide and bring the toes together behind us. Place the pillows in front of us. Stack the pillows. Again, we are reminded that if this open knee pose is too much of a deep opening for the hips, we can always bring the knees back together. I will show you an alternative. Push back, hands on wrists. Or in this case, we're gonna open it up a little bit, open up the hips. forehead on wrist and now we feel a really deep opening in the groin. Breathe deep and strong. Breathing deep and strong we lower and push our hip bones back towards our heels. That's it. Nice. Now this is an extremely deep opening. Again reminded you can always bring your knees in back together to feel the lesser opening. Relax, adjust the body where it needs to be. We want to bring our bodies to the edge, but we don't want to bring it over the edge. Walk through that dream home of ours. Focus on that. How does your dream kitchen look? How does your dream living room look? Bring a smile and breathe in the wonderful flavor you have in the home. A nice chamomile or lavender. Or smell the wonderful cooking in the new kitchen of a pot roast or your favorite chicken soup. When we dream, we have to feel it, smell it, taste it. How does the surface of the floor feel beneath the feet? Close the eyes in your dream home. Raise your arms and just 
go in a circle and be happy and gleeful like a child with a new toy. At this halfway point, if we want to bring our knees closer together and it's too much of a groin stretch, go ahead and bring your knees closer together. Slowly come up out of the pose. Bring the knees together. Whoo, hello. Put the pillow off to the side and we're sitting on all fours. We're in a tabletop position. Cat cow opens up the spine. It breathes through it. In this cat cow opening, feel the breath flowing from the base all the way to the top of the spine. Breathe in, lift the sit bones towards the sky, lift the chin towards the sky. Open it up. Now, breathe out. Round the hips, squeeze the abdominal in, round the back. Push up with the arms. Flow. In, come up. Out, come down. In, up, out, down. In, out. Taking our time with body and breath. Each time we tap into that inside of us. Each time we tap into that spirituality of us. We follow the breath that's moving in our body from each body part. We allow the body to open up in this meditative session. Just by focusing how the breath is moving inside the body. Come up slowly, out, down. Anytime our back is cranky, cat cow opens up, crack, snap, will pop. When we close our eyes, we have a deeper internal focus of what's going on inside the body. One more in, come up, hold the breath. Exhale, squeeze the breath all the way out. Squeeze in the urinary muscle and round the back. Hold the breath out. Release. On all fours, bring the chair to the right side of our body. This is where you're really not going to like me very much. In a dragon pose, we're going to take an alternative. We're going to back up a bit. A deep dragon pose is with one foot forward and the entire body press to the outside. However, we're not going that deep today. Grab your chair. So we have this lovely chair with us. 
There's another way to do this if we have bad knees. For everybody at home, you're gonna have to have a blanket or a pillow underneath the right knee because it's gonna be a lot of pressure on that right knee. When we look at the front knee, we wanna make sure the front knee does not go over the toes. So we walk it forward, okay? Now, the deeper opening is when we walk that knee, that right knee back. We do not have to do that. All we have to do is bend forward in the chair, grab your chair, that's it, and come to the right side of it, the opening side of it. When you're ready, place the forehead on the forearms and rest. That's it, Rose. Now, after, we're gonna change positions after about a minute, okay? So we have a minute. Place the forehead on the forearms, that's it. The deeper opening is when that right knee is back further, you feel an extreme tightness opening, okay? We have 40 seconds to go. Breathe through it deep. Walk through that dream home of ours. Lay in the yard with the kids. Mow the lawn if you feel like mowing the lawn. Plant the flowers if you feel like planting the flowers or have someone do it for you. Is there a lake or a pool in your backyard? Or do you have the mountains in your backyard? Slowly come up. Place the knee a little bit forward. So the knee was all the way back, now come down on it. We feel a deeper stretch in the left leg as opposed to the right side of the groin now. Show you in the camera. The right knee is forward a little bit more. The left knee is bent. The forehead is down. come up and for the last minute place the left hand on the left thigh bend forward a little bit use the chair as the prop to hold you up there we go close the eyes if there's any crankiness in the thigh and the knee bring the breath through that knee. So I've got crankiness in this body and around the knee and the thigh area. We are going to breathe through that area to open it up. Notice the quietness in the body. Notice the sound of the ocean flowing with the breath. Slowly come up onto both knees. Very good. Place the chair on the other side. Place the right knee forward. Remember the right knee is right underneath the right toes. The chair comes forward, we come into a deeper opening by coming down into the chair. We walk the left knee back, we feel a deeper opening in the groin. We're going to do this for one minute. You have an alternative if you want to do it halfway point and it's too much for your body, okay? But remember this is the biggest stress area in the body and we're 
deeply opening up in this yin session, but we're gonna back off of it in one minute. There you go, you're doing really awesome. Everyone, mommy has surgery knees, so it's, she's doing really awesome. Honor the body, bring the forehead down now to the chair. Slowly walk the left knee up so we feel more of a hip stretch in the right by walking the left knee forward. Left knee forward, Nick. Nick. Left knee. Bring it up. There you go. You feel the less opening and go ahead and place the forehead back down on the chair. in this half dragon pose. We don't have to go so deeply into it. By using the chair, we back off a bit from it. We're going, we're doing dragon baby steps. We don't have to fully go into the pose and have our body screaming. Believe it or not, yin yoga is perfect when it's for five minutes. So when we can get to up to that five minute, we're doing right as rain. We're doing really good. This body did not like yin yoga. Slowly come up now. Slowly come up. For the last minute, place the hand on the chair. Look forward, close the eyes. Breathe in, squeeze in the back thigh. Very slowly, take the right knee and stand on both knees. Keep the chair where it's at. Use the pillow to bring the pillow right behind the chair on the blanket. We're gonna sit on the pillow. Cross the legs or the legs are forward. However, we're feeling most comfortable. Place the left arm on the chair. This body feels more comfortable close using the cross-legged, but if you're more comfortable with your legs forward, go ahead and do that. Remember, this is honoring your body. Place the right hand behind the neck. Breathe in, stretch the right elbow to the sky. Breathe out, bend towards the left side of the body. Bring the left ear to the left shoulder, and we're gonna really feel an opening. Lift the elbow further to the sky, and then bend, bend towards that left side. At the halfway point, we will remind you, if you need to come up a little bit, go for it. Because what's going to happen when we're breathing in and we're lifting our elbow towards the sky and we're breathing out and we're bending towards the left side, we have a deeper opening. When this deeper opening happens, the hands start to tingle. When that happens, we come up just a little bit to alleviate that too much of an edge.
Each time we breathe in, we lift the elbow. Each time we breathe out, we bend towards the left side of the body using the chair as a prop. Each time we breathe in, adjust the body. This is the halfway point, so bring the body up a little bit, not all the way, if it's feeling too cranky. We have a minute to go. Take the right hand and place it behind the back. Keep the left ear into the left shoulder and bend, opening up the right side of the neck. Ooh, and this opening feels awesome. Hello, hello. Slowly, slowly, very slowly come out of a yin yoga pose. When we're ready, place the chair on the other side. When doing yin yoga, we realize, oh my God, my body's tight as heck. <laughs> this body did not like yin yoga when we first started it. But we realized by opening up through breath that long period of time, Woo! And we realize we can also back off of it a little bit. You know, when we adjust our bodies to where we need to be. Right hand on the chair. Left hand behind the back. Breathe in, lift the left elbow towards the sky. Breathe out, bend towards the right side. Keeping the body aligned side to side. Right ear to right shoulder left elbow comes back as far as we can get it. If it, the left elbow is forward, that's fine. We're just opening up as much as we can get it. We're opening up the obliques. We're expanding the rib cage in this position. We're allowing the lungs to breathe deeper and longer. Close the eyes for internal focus and feel the body move on the outward breath and open up on the outward breath and notice when the breaths are longer and we lengthen the breath there is a deeper bend in the body a deeper opening what does that mean for us it means we're going to feel freaking fantastic all weekend Woo! If our dream is as simple as a dream job, picture your dream job, picture your dream career, picture the dream business you would like to have. Go through the baby steps of building that. Enjoy walking through it, enjoy smelling it, enjoy tasting it. Enjoy doing the actions of it. With one more minute to go, take the left hand and place it behind the back. Stretch out that left side of the neck deep, deep, deep. Focus on the energy 
building and the tightness in the left side of the neck. Breathe through that energy. Inhale it. Exhale it. Let it go. In your dream job, what kind of people would be around you? Of course it would be nice people, right? Imagine the conversations with the nice people in your dream job or your dream business. Imagine the feeling of being in that dream job and how excited you are to wake up in the morning. You can't wait to get there. Slowly come up. Woo! Oh, that's a nice deep opening. Hands to heart. Breathe in, open the arms up, clasp the hands above the head, lace the fingers towards the sky, stretch it up. Whoo! Breathe in strong, seven more breaths. Breathe up, relax down. Breathe up, relax down. Smile to the face, breathe up, relax down. Up, relax down. Four more breaths in and out, nice and strong, nice and long. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, bring it down, hands to heart. Oh, yes. Woo, bow and honoring the body. Rub the arms up and down, rub the shoulders up and down. Give it some love. Woo, thank you, thank you, thank you. Take the chair, place it off to the side. We're not gonna need the chair anymore. If we're in this position, and either with our legs forward or our legs crossed, if we do have our legs crossed, cross the legs the other way. If we have our legs forward, stay like you're at. Place the right hand on the left thigh. The left hand right behind us, kind of hugging the spine. In a twist, we can go all the way. Look at the surfers. Close the eyes for internal focus. This is for three minutes in the halfway point. I will remind you, if you need to back off, go ahead and back off. Breathe in, twist. Inhale, strong. Hold the twist. So your right hand is pressing against strongly on your left thigh. You're breathing in and you're twisting deeper and deeper. Each time we breathe into the twist, we stretch our head towards the sky. Each time we breathe out, our sit bones, our butt cheek bones come further to the earth. We're realigning our spine when we're in a twist. In the beach here, we enjoy the soft breeze coming across the face. It's almost like we're on our dream vacation. We're feeling that fabulous soft sand beneath our feet. That cool breeze on the face. That spray of the ocean that's almost hitting us. <laughs> the sound of the ocean that soothes us. At this point, we can back off a little bit. Instead of pushing ourselves into the twist, we relax in the twist.
Notice how the body feels when we're breathing through it and we have the eyes closed. is about 13 knots giving us a cool breeze because when we're in a yin yoga pose our pressure our body temperature goes up smell the wonderful clean sea air visualize that dream car in the driveway of the dream home and we're living life and having fun in our dream job or our dream business. And we're about to go on a dream vacation. Woo, life is great. Slowly come out of the pose, breathe in and exhale it out. Stay in the position Bring the left hand to the right knee. Switch positions if our, of our cross legs if our legs are crossed. So if our legs are crossed one way, cross it the other way. Left hand, right thigh, right hand behind the spine. Twist, force our bodies into the twist. Breathe in, breathe deep. Reach to the crown of the head. Not so much force, but twist. Use a gravity to twist the body around. Twists are detoxifying in nature. They help the spine realign. They help our posture. Once our posture is strong and straight, our lung capacity increases. When our lung capacity increases, we have more energy in the body. When we increase those breaths to lengthen them and strong, deep inhales and exhales, we feel vivacious, alive, and we feel like we can conquer the world. At the halfway point, just relax instead of forcing the twist and breathe. Slowly come out of the twist on the next inhale. Whew. 
Roll over onto the right side. Take the pillow out underneath you if you have a pillow underneath you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Straighten out the legs. Give them some love. We gotta love our bodies. Yeah. Walk the sit bones towards the heels. Place both pillows behind us right against the gluteus maximus, the lower lumbar area. Keeping our knees up, slowly roll over onto the back. Lift the hips up, place the top pillow underneath the hips. Knees are straight up, heels are into the body as much as possible. Place the hands bound by the side, open the hands up towards the sky. This pose should feel relaxing. If it does not, come off the pillows. and recreate the dream. Walk through, sit in the car, roll down the windows, drive into your dream house, walk through the front door, what color are the walls in the house? Smell the pot roast cooking in your dream kitchen. Take a bath in that big whirlpool bathtub in your dream bathroom. Walk into your dream job or your dream business. Say hello to the people that you're going to meet. Fly or drive to your dream vacation. Smell the forest or smell the ocean. Take a deep breath in, a nice, strong, long breath. Exhale it down. Allow the lower back to comfort against the pillows. Allow the feet to rest into the earth. Allow the top of the spine to rest into the earth. Tell the body, relax, let go. the legs in the same position. Slowly bring up the left knee, the left leg, the right knee, the right leg. The left arm, the right arm. Keep the back of the head on the surface of the earth. So if you have a pillow underneath it, take the pillow out.
big because it's just an inversion. Take a deep breath in. Breathe in strong, reach through the toes, reach through the fingertips. Keep the feet and arms as they are and just relax the lower back into the earth on the exhale breath. At this halfway point, we can go ahead and bend the knees into the body, but keep the arms nice and straight and up in the air. Sometimes it's hard for us to keep our legs out. They get a bit shaky. So bending the knees into the body helps the body feel much better. Bring a smile to the face, remember, go ahead and swallow and loosen up the jaw. Even if we have to open up our mouth, just relax. bring the right foot down, slowly bring the left foot down. Lift up the hips towards the sky, take the pillows out from underneath. Place both pillows underneath the knee and open up the knees, put the feet together. So we're in a supine position of opening up the hips. Our body is relaxed. Our arms are out by the side or on top of our body, holding our abdomen, however we're most comfortable. Recreate your dream again. Or just focus on the energy that's flowing around us. The wind helps us to do that. Feel the here and now. Recognize how the body feels when you tell the feet, the knees, the legs to relax. Recognize how the eyelids feel. You stay like that, I'm gonna go around and place the 
光放吗？哎。As you are, I'm going to come around and place a towel over the head. With this towel or scarf over the eye, we get a deeper internal focus in our relaxed supine position. take the washcloth off of the face and in the beach here we have to kind of shake off our feet so let's shake off our feet a little bit use the first two fingers on your hand and grab the big toes take the knees and press them towards the earth rock from side to side massaging the spine in this happy baby position, loosen up the jaw. Laugh out loud. <laughs> 
laughing yoga. <laughs> Little baby laugh. <laughs> Little hearty laugh. <laughs> Breathe in deep. Let go of the feet. Extend the arms and feet towards the sky. Breathe strong. Slowly exhale. Come and turn into a fetal position on the left side of the body. In this fetal position, breathe deep for three breaths. Long and strong. On the next breath, straighten out the top leg. Use the top hand to slowly come up into once again a comfortable seated position. We close most sessions out in live sunrise beach yoga with bandhas and heart. Place this pillow underneath the sit bones. Either cross the legs or the legs forward. <coughs> bandhas are energy locks in the body. So if we could take this can of energy and place it inside of our body to hold it whenever we need it. That's what bandhas are. Bandhas are mulabana, udiyanabana, jalanhara, urinary muscle, abdominal muscle. The last one, we just bring the chin into the chest. The motion is, I'll go really slow as this. Place the hands on the knees. Breathe in, bow forward. Come up, bring the torso up, hold the breath in. Lift the chin towards the sky. Bow forward again. Exhale down through the throat. Chin into the chest. Rotate the shoulders. Come up with the torso. Rotate the shoulders back. Bring the chin down into the chest. Squeeze in the urinary muscle, abdominal muscle. Hold the breath and squeeze it in on the count of three. Two, release. Two more times. Breathe into the body, bow forward. Hold the breath in, lift the chin. Bring the chest up, the body up. Exhale down through the throat, bow forward again. Chin comes into the chest. Come up again, once again with the torso. Roll the shoulders back. Now the tricky part is to squeeze out all the air in the body. Then squeeze in the urinary muscle, abdominal muscle, chin into the chest. Release. One more time, three times the charm. Three means trinity. That's triple protection for our bodies. Breathe in, bow forward. Hold the breath in, come up with the torso, chin to the sky, exhale down through the throat, smile in the face, chin into the chest, come up again with the torso, roll the shoulders back, squeeze out all the air now, chin into the chest, squeeze in the Mulabana, Udiyanabana, Jalanhara. Hold the breath out for a count of three. Whew, it's a little bit hard on the outward breath. That is a little yoga secret, bandhas. They're lovely. Left hand over the heart, right hand over left. Bow. Repeat after me, silently or loud, your choice. I feel the dream inside me as never before and that I do now and so it is I am the light the light I am 
We are reminded every time we place the word I in front of us, it is a major significant word. So if we tell ourselves, I don't like the way my eyes look, I don't like the way my body looks, that's exactly how we will feel. If we tell ourselves, and then we look at ourselves in the mirror, Ooh, I look good today, honey. Ooh, mm, mm, mm. If we smooch ourselves, mm, oh, you look so good, I love your body, then that's exactly how we're going to feel for the rest of the day. We end with the sound of Om times three, now feeling the vibration of our heart in the mantra sound of the third eye chakra. Breathe in deep. Tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth, out. Um. Smile to the face two more times. the head honoring the body we say namaste in yoga which means I honor the peace in you as well as the peace in myself namaste everyone I dream now